Hi, uh, thank you for turning on the DVD and being part of a small group and uh, being part of Kingsland and trust you're enjoying it and appreciating it as we think about being a, a tree that produces spiritual fruit and uh, I, as we pray, hopefully daily, for God to fill us with the Holy Spirit, that we keep in step with the Spirit and that we'll be able to be transformed on the inside so that we can produce some, some fruit. And this is particularly uh, relevant when we think about kindness. There's a whole... Uh, uh, emphasis recently hasn't there on random acts of kindness of just being generous just being doing something uh, ordinarily out of the ordinary uh, doing going the extra mile all of those sorts of things and uh, it I think it really helps it makes such a difference when someone's kind we had an experience last night where some people were just incredibly kind to us mm. and uh, it was it was wonderful wasn't it was, it? It was yeah. just so good that they opened up their restaurant to us and didn't charge us and and just marvelous Anyway, kindness is such a positive, good thing. Um, I was thinking about uh, this season uh, last Sunday morning. Uh, uh, I was thinking about this season, uh, autumn, and what God was saying to us in this season and, and said something at the end of the morning service that didn't quite work. And then um, in the second service, I was drawn, drawn to uh, the woman pushing through the crowd and then went to Sunday at four and toying talked about new seasons, talked about uh, 2017, and talked about Jairus, uh, which is the story either side of the woman pushing through the crowd in Mark chapter 5 and Matthew and Luke as well. And, and she said, um, quoting her sort of vaguely, she said, it's time to change from being Jairus to being Jesus. Mm. And in other words, time to move from being the recipient of God's grace and the um, beneficiary of his goodness and kindness and salvation and healing and blessing and everything else, but to be giving it away, to be the one acting in that way. And, and so I started to look at the, um, uh, the story of Jairus's uh, daughter and the, the woman at the pushing through the crowd, just in terms of kindness and in terms of being Jesus in that situation. And the thing that strikes you is that Jesus is incredibly <clears throat> kind. You might feel that it's embarrassing for this poor woman to be picked out of the crowd. Um, she pushes through the... Um, it says a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. And of course, that's a great lesson for us, isn't it? To push through the crowd and get to Jesus. But what if we're Jesus in this situation? Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding around you. The disciples answered, yet you asked who touched you. But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. So in the kindness of Jesus to pull her out of the crowd, which may not have seemed very kind, he demonstrates incredible kindness in the four things that he says to this woman. Firstly, he calls her daughter. He honours her as a, as a citizen, as a woman, mm -hmm. as a as a human being and and that would have meant so much to her because she had been dehumanized by her illness she'd been locked away she'd been kept aside she'd been told she was unclean she every morning she'd have woken up knowing that she was still bleeding mm -hmm. and it would have made her feel less than and jesus says daughter and i think the way that we can act with kindness to humanize people is so important i, th I think also i think <coughs> excuse me quite often jesus stopped what he was doing to show acts of kindness you know i, I remember the story of, of, of blind bartimaeus you know I, I can't remember where jesus was going but he cried out jesus can you heal me and jesus yeah. stopped yeah you know, and, and went off and, and showed the act of kindness to blind bartimaeus and i think sometimes for us perhaps we're sometimes really busy in doing what we're doing actually we need to stop and actually and show that, that act of kindness and as yeah. you say that, that humanity to people absolutely yeah. most of jesus best things come when he's interrupted yes. don't they yeah and uh, yeah. yeah if that was only true of us mm. anyway that's another story um yeah 
daughter. He he humanized her. And then he, he says, your faith has healed you, which must have been an amazing thing for her because every night she would have gone to bed praying and every morning she'd have been woken up, or should have woken up not healed. She must have wondered who this God is who has declared that she's unclean, who this God is who has, has put this on her, uh, this, this curse of um, uncleanness, of, of, of just embarrassment and trouble and then separation. And, and Jesus just commends her faith. And there's a lot of people, I believe, who, who pray, who ask God, who cry out to God, who want to hear God. And they need to know that God honours their prayers, honours their faith, honours their trust, honours their belief in him. And Jesus does that just by being so kind as to say, it's your faith. It's, it's your trust, your consistent belief in God that has got you to this point. And he commended her for that. Yeah, it's... <clears throat> Our prayers are, are so important, and uh, you know uh, we don't do it just to get things. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it's a command, you know, to, to pray, and uh, and I, I think sometimes we need to pray for kindness, you know, because sometimes in, we're in situations actually saying that the kindness of God that, that changes the situation. Absolutely, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. There's this whole transformation, yes, isn't it, exactly. of us on the inside yeah. that makes us. Yeah. Um, but that there's people that you'll meet this week who will will be people who are calling out to God, who are praying, who are asking God, who are trusting God. Maybe not at the level you are, but they're they're exercising faith, and that's commendable. And Jesus, in His kindness, reached out to her and affirmed her in that faith. It's it's just marvelous. Um, and then it says. Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. This woman was on her knees at the front of a big crowd who knew that she was unclean, who knew that she'd broken the rules by coming out of her house, who knew that they had made her unclean. They put, sorry, that they, they, sorry, I said that wrong, that they were in danger of becoming unclean if they touched her. Mm. And and so she was contaminating the rest of the crowd, the rest of the group, by her presence. And Jesus says, go in peace. Mm. And sometimes we can have such a fear of people, such a, um, a suspicion of people, that we feel somehow that we're contaminated, that they're spoiling the atmosphere, that they're wrecking the room, that they're, they're messing us up. And, and Jesus simply says to her, go in peace. And as he says that to her, of course, he says it to the whole crowd that you need to treat this woman with respect and dignity. You need to uh, honour her in her, um, in her life before you as a crowd, as well as before God, because she's a woman of shalom, of peace. Mm. And, and of course, Jesus often commended people of peace and said, you'll find people of peace and, and pray peace and all of that. And he says, I want you, young lady, to prosper I want you to have wholeness in your body, blessed in your finances, positive in your relationships. I want you to go in fullness, peace. And uh, that's such a kind thing for him to say. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, I, I don't think I'll forget Antonio. We, you know, we get all walks of life that come into Kings and Church, don't we? Yeah. And uh, showing that act of kindness, you know, brings, I'm sure, real peace. Uh, in, into some some people, and and they leave knowing actually, yeah, I'm okay to come here. Yeah. I'm, I'm loved here, Absolutely. and uh, and I think, and who knows what those few words of kindness will, will do that person, you know, and hopefully they've been here in, yeah. in, in the Shekinah worshiping that, because because of our acts of of kindness. Absolutely, to, to, absolutely. And then he says, your faith, uh, sorry, go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Um, it, Jesus seems here to be looking not just at the instant healing, <clears throat> but an ongoing mm. rebuilding of her life after the effects of her suffering. I don't want you to go back to that place, Jesus seems to be saying, where you were caught up and, and, and just in such trouble. I don't want the effects of that to be long lasting. You know, I want you to be freed from your suffering. And Jesus' commitment to the longer term, I think, is just such a kind thing in that circumstance. And of course, he probably never met her again. But her, she must have known that she can always come and see Jesus. Yeah. 
And that must have been such a reassuring thing for her as she walks away with confidence in peace before the crowd, but knowing that the the the, the issues of the past, sorry, bad use of bad turn of phrase, but the issues of the past are dealt with and she can walk in freedom. Yeah. Amen. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Thanks for being part of this. Uh, have a good time as you just think about how you can be kind and how God has been yeah. kind to you. Yeah. Bless you. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Okay.